Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Michelle Marcelino, Senior Vice President and Head of Latin America for Seaborne Networks. Michelle, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me here, Barb. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. And I wanted to start by, first of all, congratulating you on joining Seaborne born in uh, back in April uh, and, and you're managing Seaborn's sales organization and channel strategies as well as serving as Seaborn's most senior officer in Brazil. Can you tell us about what attracted you to see to Seaborn, you know, why this position, why this company? Sure, yeah. Well, first, thanks. Uh, I think it is a combination of some factors. Uh, I think the asset itself, the infrastructure, uh, it's a great asset. The second one is the, you know, people you know, I know the leadership for some time. I've been working with Cibor uh, before I joined uh, the company. So we have the experts, uh, good people, and also, you know, the market itself, the opportunities we have uh, right now here in Brazil and in the U.S. I think those are the ingredients you know, that have attracted me to this new challenge. Yeah, and there's lots happening, I understand. Um, can you talk about your plans, Seaborn's plans to expand uh, your footprint in Brazil and across Latin America? Yeah, sure. So we have you know, several projects uh, going on right now. We are about to add a, a new pair of fiber from US uh, to Brazil. So we're gonna be able to offer you know, diverse paths uh, from US to Brazil. And also we are expanding our presence here uh, in Brazil. Uh, we are going to open up two new pops in Sao Paulo city, and we have plans to uh, open a new pop uh, in Rio de Janeiro. Besides that, uh, we are also evaluating uh, to have uh, new pops beyond Sao Paulo and Rio. Uh, we've been performing you know, some uh, financial analysis, and hopefully uh, in a short period of time, I'm going to be able to share uh, news with you. Now, speaking about Latin America, we have a great partner, which is Edge Uno, and we've been doing, you know, uh, joint investments uh, across the region. So right now, uh, together with Edge Uno, we also can provide connectivity in Argentina, Buenos Aires, and Santiago in Chile, Lima, Peru, and Bogota in Colombia. So it's been, you know, busy, busy times for us here in Latin America. Yeah, sounds like it. Can you, you talked a bit about uh, expansion in, in Brazil. Can you talk about what some of the opportunities in that market are? Well, uh, we have two uh, different segments right now that we are working with our teams. Uh, the first one is for the IP uh, product. As you may know, Brazil is a continental country. We have more than 6,000 competitive carriers, small carriers uh, across the country. So we see uh, the IP product as a good opportunity for us, right? Uh, we are in the middle of the technology shift. We are moving from copper to fiber and having a strong IP, uh, quality IP, uh, it's gonna be beneficial for us. So we see the segment as a, you know, one of the most important for us uh, right now. The other one is related to the financial segment. As you may know, uh, the financial segment, it is, within our DNA. We have the ultra low latency uh, product for uh, the financial segment. And now we are in the middle of the homologation process with the Brazilian stock exchange. And then uh, in a few weeks from now, we are gonna be also a certified carrier to offer you know, this stock exchange uh, network to our uh, international financial customers, okay? So interesting. It's so interesting to hear sort of what's happening in, in the market there. And I'm interested also in your perspective on when we look at the submarine cable industry as a whole, what do you see on the horizon there for the next year or two? Well, I think, uh, you know, all the, 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 the players, they are, you know, getting ready for the future demand, right? Low latency is critical right now. And then we see a lot of, you know, activities from other players you know, upgrading their systems or building up new systems so they can offer uh, low latency connectivity because especially in Latin America, uh, we see this grow with streaming and gaming and low latency is gonna be critical. So I think we are very well positioned uh, for the future. And also we see, you know, uh, other players, 
you know, preparing themselves for this future human here in Brazil and Latin, Latin America. Yeah, well, thank you so much. We, you know, we really appreciate this has been so interesting. You obviously have a lot of work ahead of you in your new role. Uh, and I, I think that for our viewers who are hearing from you, they're, they're likely going to want to see uh, about learning more. Where can they go to find out more information? Well, they can go to our, you know, webpage, seabornnetworks.com. And also they can follow us on social media. We've been very active on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. So those are the places where they can see, you know, the news from Seaborn. Fantastic. Okay, so Seaborn Networks, uh, all the social platforms and seabornnetworks.com. Exactly. Seaborn exactly. Uh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time okay. here today, Michelle. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Mm -hmm.